guys and welcome to today's video so today I'm gonna be trying out the stuff that I made in my previous video which if you guys have not seen that video I will leave the link down below so make sure to check that video out first before you check out this video and it smells really really good so I'm gonna be trying out let's try out the eggs first so um, in the video they only added mayo and mustard which I thought was kind of plain so I added some <clears throat> mayo, mustard, sriracha and a bit of cayenne on top. Enough of me talking, let's get to this one. Mm. 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 Oh wow. If you are going to do this one and you do like spice, make sure to add that sriracha and cayenne because I'm telling you it does make a big difference like with spice. Maybe because I like spice, but it was easy, it's good, and cool. The next one that I'm going to try, which was on the same plate, and the one that took me the longest to make was the Hot Cheeto Grilled Cheese. This one smells so good. Like, it smells like Hot Cheetos, and then it, it smells like Hot Cheetos with cheese. I don't know if you guys have ever had Hot Cheetos with cheese, but I love Hot Cheetos with cheese, and this is American cheese, so... I'm sure it's gonna be good. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. You guys. This one is so good. Like, cheese is like perfectly melted, and then the crust on the outside is like crispy, and it it's really like good. It has a good spice. Mm. This one, if I were to rate it out of 10, I would give it a 10 out of 10 also. It's just like, it reminds me of Hot Cheetos and Cheese, but it's a grilled cheese. I mean, it is Hot Cheetos and Cheese, but it's just like taking your grilled cheese to like the next level. It was worth it in the end, and this one is my favorite right now. This is the cookie one. So instead of using Oreos, I had no Oreos, but I did have Famous Amos, which um, these cookies are bomb. I just did the same uh, process, mixed it with milk, put it in the microwave. I did use a whole pack, so I did have to put it in the microwave for way longer. Um, but it's still cooked and it looks really good. So Let's just do that. I want you guys to see. Oh my gosh. I almost spilled Ooh, so it's like gooey it has chocolate chips. So when you melt it in the microwave it comes out like gooey and Let's just try it Mmm Mmm Oh my gosh. You guys have to try this with Famous Amos. I haven't tried it with Oreos, but this one is so good. It's like a cake and a cookie mixed in one with melted chocolate chip cookies, chocolate chip cookies, with melted chocolate chips. I'm sure like this one with ice cream on top is so good. And it was honestly so easy. All I did was crush the little chips, put milk, put it in the microwave for like a minute, and then I have a cake. So I didn't even have to put it in the oven or anything like that. So good. Um, this one definitely a 10 out of 10 because it was just so easy to make and it's so good. Right, you guys, so I also did do the whipped coffee, which if you guys seen on my previous video, that video I will leave it linked down below. You guys should check it out of me making it, showing it to my family, seeing their uh, reactions towards it. So this one is really good and the cake and the whipped coffee together, ooh, that is a uh, 12 out of 10. But, um, but honestly, everything that I've had so far is a 10 out of 10. You guys should really definitely check them out and make these recipes. And the last one that I have that I'm most excited for is the Taco Bell quesadilla with bacon and cheese and egg. So that is sort of what it looks like. <clears throat> this one, um, the guy actually did it a different way. So I did it my own version. I only used one tortilla. I folded it in half and then did the same process. Uh, but it comes out like a 
quesadilla. So this one, my family did take a bite. My mom did, and she loved it so much. Um, <clears throat> we also have like Taco Bell fire sauce. This one is my favorite from Taco Bell. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit on top. And then, yeah, so I did get like a good crisp on it. And now let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Mmm. This one is definitely my favorite out of all of the ones today. And this is probably like a 20 out of 10. It's like I made Taco Bell, so. Especially with like the Taco Bell fire sauce, it just gives it like that extra thingy. And oh my gosh, I can literally make this every day and I'll be happy with. Mm. All right, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little mukbang that I did with all the meals that I created from TikTok. Anyway, if you guys want to recreate it, make sure to check out my other video on how to make everything and just send me a message via Instagram or a comment down below. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. We are lost.